So stop being so immature and be professional. <laughs> All right. Oh, where is my life? Hello everyone, just bear with me a minute. I'm just going to get uh, what I need up on screen. Alright, why am I not going live, Kasha? What's happening? I do believe I am live, but I believe I've disappeared. It's like a magic show. Alright. I see you. Where? Seven people. How come everybody else can see me except for me? Alright, can you come and find it on my page for me, please? I haven't had enough coffee for this today. What is he wasting all my stuff? That's the last live. Where is it? Are you playing with that snow? Hello, everyone. How are you? Sorry, as you can tell, we're having a few little technical issues here. Because the, because the technical plays. system, yes, yeah, my. So Kasha just clicks the button straight away and finds it. <laughs> Kasha's playing with glow in the dark paint and puffy paint. So if you haven't seen that in stock, we have it in stock. And if you two are drawing on my windows, you're both fired. <sighs> I know. Ridiculous. Okay. Welcome to the <laughs> Friday afternoon here at Natalie May Scrapbooking. As you can tell, Friday afternoon, the um, sugar, kit, sugar hit just kicked in. Uh, if I could take my camera off the tripod and walk around to the other side of the wall here, I have my two very valuable staff members being clever perhaps i'm not too sure if that's the word but um yeah anyway the sugar hits just hit on a friday afternoon um we are we are here doing a live it is day two of the great international craft show number 17 and we have got some fantastic specials for you today over at nataliemay.com.au stencils are 15 percent off dyes are 15 percent off Vicky Booten and Tim Holtz are also 15% off for today only. Tomorrow, we will have a brand spanking new special, which we cannot wait for. Uh, we have got heaps and heaps happening. Um, <laughs> I think that it is very rude for me to laugh at what my staff are doing. I should shut the door on you. Okay. So we've got heaps happening online. So tomorrow we're going to have a brand new special and I will be back again tomorrow for your entertainment and your viewing pleasure with four more live Facebooks. Um, first and foremost, something that I do want to bring up, we just had a delivery of Funky Fossil and this little stamp, Journal Marks by Claire Art Journal Love, is back in stock. Run don't walk. Start the car. Okay, so let's do this. We have got, um, I thought I would do a little live this afternoon using my new um, collage paper, the Sketched Eyes. Uh, when, we, when we decided to go with this design, I wanted something that, I, I wanted some masculine eyes. I needed something a little bit grungy. So I thought that putting my glasses on will help. I thought that if I grabbed, if I did three up on a page, it can get, help you out and get you started. Um, what I want to do is grab a pencil and I'm just going to do an easy cut out. And I might use, I might use, I might use his eyes. Um, I'm just going to go with tearing him off like that. And I want to cut a, a square out of my page, make it a bit of a peekaboo sort of page. 
situation going on, which I've done plenty of times in other journal pages. Uh, so let's go with this one here. And I want to pop it smack bang in the middle. So what I will do is work out how far down from the top I want to do it. So I'm going to take it at about 7 centimetres from the top. Just using my metal ruler, and I'm not going to overcomplicate this. Straight line, seven, seven, there, and I'm going to go two centimeters in from that side, and about two centimeters in from there. Actually, I'm going to go one and a half, one and a half. And how much? How much eye do I want showing? I want about seven centimeters down. Let's get my cup of tea out of the way before I spill it. So I want to go about seven centimetres down. Is that enough? Oh yeah, that's right. Um, seven centimetres down is about there. So I will go again. Oh, I better go from here to here. Hey Delphina, hey Robin, how are you girls? And then I'm going to go seven centimetres from here to here. Seven centimetres, oh, I have to do it on that side. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that square out. So I have my Alpha craft knife. This is my go-to craft knife. I have got a self-healing mat that I'm putting in underneath. And I'm just going to cut that out with a bit of pressure. I'm going to go there. Now these, this is a, a design that is certainly not at all new, not at all unique. But very, very effective. And I loved this idea of, of having some animal eyes peeking through or some person eyes peeking through. So essentially, we're going to be doing three pages for this. One, which is this side. And I'm going to... Let me cut that out. And I'm going to keep the backgrounds super easy, nice and raw with some stenciling. Right, there we go, done. So, theoretically, that will go in under there, but I do need to cut that down. So, first things first, I want to add a little bit of colour to this page, and I want to use, I'm going to start using some clear gesso just to get a bit of a base down. I did mention earlier today when I was having a play with this, that this journal can be a little thirsty. So using, I've got Dina Wakely Clear Gesso and I'm going to use a paintbrush just to kind of stop some of that paint from soaking in. A little on the rough side, but Clear Gesso, I still want the craft to show through because I want to do a bit more of an earthy brown sort of page. Um, and Louise or Kasha, could I grab some more Dina Wakely or Prima Clear Gesso, any brand, off the shelf, please? I've just, I've just run out. So this page here that you're looking at, if you want to scroll back and see how I did that this afternoon, that is part of this afternoon, or earlier today I did another live Facebook. Ta-da, thank you. I'm gonna whip that through there. So clear gesso is just really gonna seal it so that it is nice and easy to use. And I'm gonna go through a ton less paint. Could you adjust the inventory please, goddess of all things awesome? Queen. 
and I should have done this off camera, but we've either been eating cinnamon scrolls and sitting around talking crap, actually, for about an hour, but that's okay. Not crap, you know, just stuff. So this is the page where I'm going to stick my... Uh, this is the page where I'm going to stick my collage paper. So what I want to do here is I'm actually going to mix a little bit of white gesso in with this bit because I want a little bit of a whiter background underneath the, oh, that's a lot, under the area, white area. Right, wow, let's commit to that, hey? Let's solve this problem, take everything off my brush and spread out what's here. And then I'm gonna hit this with the heat gun and dry it off. Do, do, do. Spread it out, spread it out. Right, what's that? Splendid. We've just had a delivery of, let me just get my heat gun running. A heat gun, sorry, my heat gun's going. I've just had a delivery of the black Natalie May scrapbooking paint stands, which is exciting. So they are now available, they will be available online in about five minutes. Kasha, did anything else arrive? The things that we sold about earlier, a couple of days ago? Excellent. And very possibly the glue stands have come in. There's only seven ones, so get them back. All right. There's only seven black paint stands in stock. So if you want them, <laughs> they have been our best seller. They are very awesome all right so just drying this off so today's class may be a little bit longer but what i'm thinking i need to be doing is thinking a bit about how i can get this face going on here just drying this the best that i can all right let's put the gesso away and have a look at this so he's going to go there but like I have done previously, I need to do a water tear. I need to do a, a water tear to incorporate him into the, the paper so that it sits right. So I'm gonna start with across the bottom and a water tear just gives a much, much softer tear. So again, one of our brand new collage paper designs. I'm gonna come in from this side now. And this art journal page is just going to be a focus on the eyes. There we go. Maybe tore that a little close. Come down here. Radio. Let's have a bit of a think now. I need to tear across the top. Now, normally I would just do a little bit at a time, but I'm going to go like that. So when I close, that. I need to take a little bit more off here. Like so. Right, oh, I'm pretty happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear now down this side. So it's just about taking a second and thinking about how you can incorporate something into your flippy page. Uh, gel medium is going to be our adhesive of choice. Using the same techniques that I have covered before, which is that whole, you know, uh, covering school books sort of thing, where we do a little bit at a time. So I'm just looking for a paintbrush. All right. Gel medium. Dina Wakely gel medium is my gel medium of choice. And I'm going to start over here. And I just need to stand up and get over it so that I can get it in the right spot. 
<laughs> yeah. There we go. And he's in a bit of a tilt, so I need to... Move and drop him down. His eyebrows are a little low. Right, happy with that. So now I'm gonna get that down on that side, making sure all of my edges are down, super important. Then go over the top, get all those bubbles out. And again, down, get it in here. Get it this way, get all those bubbles out. Cover and seal that collage paper completely. So when I decide to paint over the top, it's all completely sealed. No excuses. Right, I'm going to now polish it off with my fingers. So polishing it off, give it a round circular motion, takes off any bubbles, takes off any excess, pushes it around, smooths it out, assists with the drying time. I'm not overworking it, I'm just getting it on there. And it's all completely stuck down. And then we need to dry that off. I love the way this just blends beautifully into the background. drink my cup of tea that I started an hour ago. And now we get to do the fun bit, we get to do the painting. I don't really have a plan now when it comes to getting the paint on at all actually. I have got no idea what colours I want to do. I feel like I want to go earthy because it's a masculine style. Uh, but I have a whole heap of Dina Wakeley stencils out here that I thought I might crack out. Alright, so let's start with this side. It's a bit curly, I've got a bit of, a, bit of an issue here. Uh, bulldog clip, hang on. Right, paint, what are we going to do? Let's have a look at the stencils that I've got here first of all. Uh, I wanna go with, I've just pulled out a few, <laughs> I guess my best, my favorite Dan Wakeley stencil, this one. Um. like that. Like that. I like that. And I like that. All right. Color, 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 color. I'm just going to make a start here with some Paper Artsy Opaque Paint in, what's that colour called? Caramel. So it's a very similar colour to the background, but what I want to do is build up a little bit of a base of colour here. Bit of overflow from previous page. Top and bottom, and you'll see you'll see with the with the craft journals that the pages are thirsty. So you do need to often apply a bit more paint than normal. Oops. 
I've got tobacco now. Tobacco was that really nice colour that we used earlier and I'm going to go with a stencil. Who's out there? Both of them. Oh, my pocket. Right. When people drop in and I'm here talking with you. Hello, Anne. Okay, clean blending sponge. So this is tobacco from uh, by Marlene. And I'm going to go up here. And it's a really lovely, unique colour, this one. This page is all going to be about layering. And then I'm pretty much going to repeat it on the other side as well. Done, done, done. And... Where's my squabbles? My big squabbles. See, it's a good word, that one. Uh, I think I might use, like, syrup is another Dina Wakely colour that's a little underutilised. It's a bit baby poo sort of um, green, but let's give it a whirl. Let's crack it out. Getting my clip there, but that's okay. I like it. Kasia, could you pop your head in here for just a jiffy? Can you adjust the inventory for me on that one and that one and that one, please? Thanks, babe. All right, so layering up some of these really neutral sorts of colors is kind of cool. So we've got two on there, one and two. Uh, what else am I gonna do? Gonna go in with this one. Two colors, so I'm just keeping those paints aside because I know that I wanna use them again. Uh, let's think about the next colour. I tend to keep going back to this really lovely navy boot blue police from Art by, Marley. Art by Marlene is a very nice one. All right, so this one here, I'm going to go in with my halves. And there's going to be a little stamping and a little doodling later as well. And like I said, none of this, there's no plan for this. This is me just hoping that something's going to fall out of my head and work. So um, with my art journal, of course, that is how I roll. I get a lot of stuff that just randomly falls out of my head. And it can be very hot luck as to where it lands and that is the beauty of art journal. Alright, I'm on the right track here. Happy days. Yeah, Emma, I am feeling a little bit neutral. So, I mean, I don't get me wrong, I do love colour but sometimes it's really nice just to channel in something a little bit earthier. It doesn't always have to be about the brights. Happy days. Right. So now when I pull that out, okay, I like it. It's a little retro. So I am going to add some stamping. I'm just going to get my paint down to start with. So now I'm going to flip. Now this, this page is going to be a little bit different because it's got white in here as well. Whereas I didn't have any white here, so I'm going to have to think about where my white comes from. Actually, I don't have to think too much because here's my white here. All 
Okay, let's get a little bit of rinse and repeat. Let's follow these same similar combinations. Sorry, I'm just going for some paper towel. We're going to go for some similar combinations. Which paintbrush did I use? That one. No? Yes. And I'm going to get some more of that paint down. So with my paintbrush, I'm going to dry brush again, which means that I'm going to squeeze all the water out of my paintbrush prior to using it. And I'm going to squirt the colour on, and I'm going to be pretty generous. And then I'm going to swish it around my base. And I'm not going to paint the whole page with it. That's totally not necessary. Because I still want some craft coming through. I want that rough, look what I just made sort of look to it. You know what I mean. And when it comes to my image, I'm just going to do a little bit of incorporating it in like so. Trying to keep my brush strokes all going the right way so that visually it just looks a little bit nicer. And soften with a baby wipe. So that's what I did around here. Sorry, I just had my paintbrush in my mouth, as you do and to incorporate that into your page. Soften with a baby wipe. Put the brush away. So next I'm going to use tobacco and do those lumpy bits. I might just dry that. It's a bit, I was a bit heavy handed on the paint for a change. Emma's just commented, you're inspiring me to do a neutral spread. Yeah, I'm all about rainbows as well. I'm all about the colour wheel, but I also really love to embrace these nurtured, natural, softer tones. They don't always have to be in your face. I do like the stencil. So stencils today on nataliemay.com.au you will find at 15% off and that price will automatically be deducted, de deducted at the checkout. Um, if you placed an order yesterday and you would like to add to your order, congratulations, you are not alone, which is why we call it the no judgment postage option. It means that you can add to your order over the course of the weekend. Uh, so if I show you something that you didn't realize you needed in a live Facebook, then of course you can add to your order just by selecting no judgment at the checkout and we will put them all together with your order that you placed yesterday or the order that you're going to place tomorrow or whatever it might be because this is a safe, no judgment sort of environment. Okay, oh, I've got a little bit of brown bit there. So you can kind of see what's going on here. I like that. Right, let's put that aside and bring out our big squabbles. And the big squabbles needed to be in this interesting syrup colour that I've still got on my brush here. I'm going to start down at the bottom here. Wasn't that right? Yeah, big squab with this baby poo green, as I called it. I have always been a huge lover of Dina Wakeley products from many, many, many moons ago. Um, I hosted her in Australia 
So we're trying to work that out. I actually think it might have been 2018 that she came last. Um, I hosted her here in Adelaide and we had a hundred or so ladies come for a workshop, which was beyond any sort of fun. It was absolutely wild. Um, huge, huge couple of days. So um, I was I was working out of my studio at home then. Gosh, I remember that. So yeah, I'm that huge, huge, huge fan. Um, love her, her style um, and her her clever, clever creating. Yeah, Susan, she's she's very funny. Not as funny as me, but um, <laughs> clearly, clearly. Uh, but yeah, she's she's a very very good educator. So um, yeah, went to Melbourne. She's the one that actually introduced me to art journaling. I uh, didn't know anything about art journaling and jumped in and learnt the Dina Wakeley way. Learned all about where to put colour on a page, all sorts of bits and pieces direct from Dina. It was really good. She does some great online classes too. Good opportunity to do something. Radio. I'm just about actually knowing when to stop is important and that was my limit. Okay, next colour needed to be that blue. So I'm going back in with this police blue from Art by Marlene. Um, reading the comments as I go, just waiting for paint to dry, just going to refresh my, my fading memory here as to where I'm going with this. What's going on here? Don't know. Let's commit to it. Get this on now. Made a bit of a goober there. Let's have a look and see if I can fix it because I don't like that bit. Paint was a bit heavy. Have I made it worse? That is the question. No, I haven't. But before I do anything else, I am going to clean the paint off the back of my stencil so that it does not happen again. So that little bleed came, came from having too much paint on my sponge. So making sure that you have a nice amount of paint and, and building up your paint, less is best will always help you out. You can always build the colour, but it's harder to take it off unless you can get a little bit arsy like I just did, and then sometimes it'll work. But it depends what you've done to your background, what your background prep looks like. See, I've got a bit of a flow going through there. I feel like this one needs to go here though. Right, at this point I'm thinking, this is going well. But based on my current sugar hit just kicking in, I'm going to put that over the top here because I really want to avoid getting any blue on that guy. Mel's just commented, love the look at this now. I will have to come back and watch the parts. Here's the cool thing, right? You can come back and watch any time you like. I will be having keeping these on Facebook and then you will be able to... Watch them on YouTube as well. Um, you're not the only one having internet problems today, Mel. I've had nothing but trouble in here. And uh, the interwebs, are, the internet coverage is, is not, not being my friend either. Now, here's something about stenciling. We always tend to go right to the edge or cover every single bit. You'll notice up here, I'm not going in every single little circle. I'm going to leave that one for example just to get a bit of balance and I can go back and add more if I need to. 
Um, but right now, I don't feel the need to go into every single little gap. Oh, I reckon it's just about time for a glass of wine. I don't think that cup of tea even did a thing. Is it wine o'clock, Kasha? No, I don't need... I, I could have a glass, or choosing to not have a glass. The, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm dangerous enough creating without a glass. Oh. oh, there will be no scissor work. Trust me. All right, there we go. It's got a bit of a gap going on up here. I feel the need for a little... Little light coverage up here. Doesn't need to be a whole one, can be a half. Happy days. Oh, drop it on your lap. Not my favourite jeans, that's okay. Now I'm going to put half one about here. So I'm thinking about where my blue is hitting my page, what I can see, what I like, what I don't like, um, and getting a few pops of these colours around the page okay that works that works and that works let's have a bit of a look now that's annoying that's absolutely terrible let's just see if i can know if that's there for good it's at the end of his nose i didn't even see that how do we fix that we paint over it Shit. look what can i do to his nose oh, i said sh no i meant Oh. Yeah. It's just in the wrong spot. Yeah. Well, close the door. Yeah, I know, but when you open the flap... <laughs> I hope you all heard the giggling from the next room then. Um, okay, let's think about this. How do we fix a problem? With a bit more paint. Yeah, you can't see that now. Was that Kirsten? Yep. How is she? Yeah, good. Good, nothing. All right. So not so bad, and we'll add some stamping over the top of that. And you'll never know it's there. Right, plan B. <laughs> Karen, get your mind out the gutter, doll. No more flat jokes. So I'm just going to hit that with the heat tool, and then I'm going to go in with some detail and some stamping, because I need to finish this off with a little bit of black stamping. So just to recap, the colours, I've used three colours of paint. I have used Caramel by Paper Artsy, Police by Art by Marlene, uh, four paints actually. I have used Syrup by Dina Wakeley, which is this really interesting baby poo sort of colour that we kind of avoid. And then finally, the last one is... Tobacco. Tobacco. You're not going to hand model me. You're a fabulous hand model. So I'm going to use, they're the, they're the colours that I've used, along with Harvey's, Squabbles, and whatever that one's called. Right. Now, the fun comes in the stamping and the detail. So I'm going to be adding in some black now for balance. And I'm going to do that with my black ink pad and a plethora of mark making stamps. So I've quite often mentioned to my girls about buying, when I do the art journal class online, purchasing some good mark making stamps is really important to your creativity. So if you want to add things like um, crosses and things that leave a really good mark on your page. So I have this little container here of mark making stamps. So they are the stamps that I go to the most. They are a combination of, oh look, I don't even know where that one came from. I've got some that were in a advent calendar by Art by Marlene maybe three years ago. Um, I have some Natalie May scrapbooking stamps in here. We have got some cheeky word ones here. Uh, got some broken ones here. This one says, some days her thoughts were quite bizarre. 
accurate. I like wordy ones that say things like, don't judge me. Let's make this simple and assume that I'm right. You know, these, these quirky little... Quirky little stamps that I've just built up over time. Um, I've got some that say some naughty words. They came out of the advent calendar. This, these ones came out of the advent the art oh, by yeah, Marlene ones. I don't, that one's not cut properly, so that definitely is not an, art, uh, an advent calendar one. I've got some dots. So yeah, you can, you know, I keep them all together because they're the ones that I go back to over and over and over. Um, and they come from all over the place. There you go. So Kasha's just loaded up this morning some really awesome little uniquely creative ones as well. So you can start building up your collection uh, easily enough. And then, like I said, I just put them all in this little tub that I've got here and start, and you know, then I go to them again and again. And I don't have to go through searching through every single stamp that I have, I can just go through the one pouch. Where did I get all of these stamps from? I've got no idea. Wouldn't have a clue. Doesn't matter because it's just ones that I've got in my stash that I love. Um, my um, So this one that I showed you earlier, you can see how well that one gets used. That was the journal marks by um, Funky Fossil, that one is back in stock. So I'm going to start over on this page uh, and I'm just going to start with, oh look, I'm overthinking this. I'm just going to go in with this one. This is actually a tra off the Tracy Scott step set. Some of them don't even stick onto here properly. I've used this one to absolute death. I've got a really inky, oh shit. I've got a really inky ink pad. I'm really sweary this afternoon. I do have to apologize, ladies. Oh, that's crooked. Should have let a grown-up do this today, I reckon. Oh, Louise, don't ask Louise to do it. We've had this discussion and she says no. She wouldn't even do it for charity. She's not a crafter and that's okay. Right, there we go. I'm going to pop in some little... I'm going to pop in some little circles, some little dots here. So pull out some of those stamps that you have that you have got, you know, the, the favourite ones out of a set. Why do they all have to be in a set together? I understand that some people prefer that organised. You, you do that, don't you, Kash? You keep all your stamps in a set together? Sometimes, yes. Yeah, see, I'm more that person of going, you know what, I use them all the time. I'm going to do that. Um, say again? She has them categorised in mark making. So everyone does, um, does, you know, store your stamps differently, and that I can certainly appreciate. Right, cracking through. Can outline my frame here. Black pen, random black pen of the day. Now, my lines are never, ever straight. They're usually just quite fluid, quite organic. Not my favourite word to use, but it describes it quite well. Um, 
It needs the black for detail. It needs the black for balance. I've got that big pop of white coming through. And now I'm going to give it that balance. So there we go. Up through that side there. And I'm going to just add a few little personal doodle marks in here, some crosses of some different sizes and shapes, and then I'm going to pop some up here as well. So all I have to do now is on this side, do something very similar. Right, so here's my second page. So this time I'm going to put some more words around his face, so I'm going to do that first. Um, and I'm going to do lots of off stamping because I want his face to be framed with these words. So I'm just stamping again and again and again, and they don't say anything more than don't judge me, yeah, and you can barely even read them. But what I like is that it creates this interesting little layer of stamping, a little bit of interest, and now I don't have to think too much about the title because I've got these words in there. Okay, back to these big black bold marks again. I do need to incorporate them because they're on the other page, but I'm going to change up the way that they are on my page, on my project. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Karen, did, you did ask the question the other day about organising stamps and everyone has got a completely different system. It is so bizarre. Um, I will at some stage take a photo of the train wreck that is my uh, organisation. I'm more than happy to show, share that. Um, having a recently moved into a new space here, I have had to downsize significantly. Um, I've actually thrown a lot of stuff out too, which has been really, really good. Um, not as much stuff in my head anymore, not clogging up space in my in my head, but we're kind of getting there. And I'm going to come up here. What's up? Nothing. You're going to go home? I am. Okay. Since you'll be back here tomorrow, you will be back here tomorrow and for that I'm grateful. All right, I'm getting that down there, building that through so you can see what's going on here. I'm gonna pack these little guys in here. Just that extra texture that I had on the other page. Downsize, wash your mouth out and have, <laughs> no, darling. No, I'm not having any more stuff. As it is, I do already get told off when I open another stencil. You've done rations, girls. Otherwise, you guys can't buy anything. Did you hear that? I'm on rations. And that's okay because... <coughs> you get new stuff occasionally. I don't get new stuff occasionally. But I have to have the right amount of stuff in because as soon as I use something, what happens? Natalie, where'd you get that? Can I have one? How'd you use that? Have you got those in the shop? And then everybody asks me, which is great, until I can't get it anymore. <laughs> the boss has told you. Yes, exactly right. What are you talking about? All right, I'm actually kind of loving where this is headed. I'm gonna put that lid back on that ink pad before I add any more because it needs some doodling. I need to put those stamps away before I add any more. Oh, goodness. You walk into the door today, Louise. That takes some sort of special talent, love. And the other staff member laughed. She did. That's what friends do, isn't it? 
All right, so now I'm going to do an outline all the way around. So again, a lovely, simple art journal page. Nothing more than taking a little preparation to put our base down with some clear gesso because these craft journals can be a little bit thirsty. Earthy, earthy colour here with these browns through some Sedina Wakely stencils. Um, some of my, my new sketched eyes collage paper and a peekaboo page, a window cutout page with some simple mark making stamps for a highlight. Um, Going to pop a little frame around here. I feel the need to do a double line. How am I going for time? Oh, I love that. 50 minutes. <coughs> right. Got a little bit of um, stamping going down into his noggin, which I like. I think I need to give him some colour on his eyes. So... Let's take a moment with some of this blue. And I might just see if I can take a little bit off of my sponge. That just might be the right amount. Finding a thin paintbrush. Um, and I'm picking up some of just a, a little bit of blue onto here. Is he watching the chess? He's watching the chess on the next window. I'm like, what are you talking about, woman? You, you're crazy. Who's playing the chess? Oh, that's made it pop. The temptation to add more colour into here is, is, is a lot, so I'm not going to do that. All right, let's have a look. So we have coated our page with clear gesso. Um, we have used three different colours in our background uh, and stenciled with Dina Wakeley stencils, added some directional stamping, which leads your, uh, leads your eye to those eyes. So it's you can Ned see Kelly. how... It is Ned Kelly. It is Ned Kelly. his hat. I'm related to Ned Kelly. I know. Shit, I didn't even say shivers. Oh, I'm very sweary. Okay, then on the inside we open up and we have got, don't judge me. <laughs> Stop it. Stop looking at the little people. Um, and then we've got this guy here with, again, the directional stamping. Don't judge me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In our stamping and up through there. Oh, All right. Yeah, of course, you, you judgmental <laughs> women, you. All right, I hope that that makes some sort of sense to you. Um, I really enjoyed that page. I, I feel like I could continue to work on it. There's lots more things that I could add to it, but I don't need to. I don't need to add anything else. I'm actually quite happy with it. So um, there you go. So that is part of the Sketched Eyes set from Natalie May Scrapbooking. Um, you can see that would also look good with a little kitty between your window. Oh, that almost... Oh, anyway, moving on. Um, jumping online this weekend, jumping on for today. If you want to use, um, if you want to take advantage of stencils, dies of Vicky Booten and Tim Holtz, you can get 15% off for Friday only being today. Tomorrow we're going to have a brand new special. You are not going to get any discount on stencils, dies, Vicky Booten or Tim Holtz tomorrow. So now is the time to stock up on something that you like the look of. If you placed an order yesterday and you want to add to your order, you can just by choosing No Judgment at the checkout and we will combine your orders. Um, and you can also book for our 2024 retreat. The super talented... Vicky Booten, who is coming to Australia, you can book online her classes uh, through our website. And uh, Tracy Scott is going to be right here in Adelaide this 
this Sunday. And we have now got three spots left in, in that class. So uh, if you have any, you know, if you want to make it to the class, you want to learn something awesome, then right here in Adelaide, you can do that. Uh, and yeah, can't wait. Okay. Thanks guys. I'm out of here. I need to go and get myself a glass of wine. I'm going to photograph this, pop it online and I uh, hope to see you all again tomorrow morning at 9am. See ya.